Hello everyone, welcome to our introduction to PVC6 video and um, I hope everything is going on as you wish and in today's section, uh, as always, we will continue from the point where we left in the fifth video and as you can remember in the fifth video, uh, we talked about the warnings that occur in the PVC6 uh, system section and we said that uh, the first warning uh, was the inverter power is slightly oversight. We talked about the meaning and sense behind it. And uh, in today's video section, we will talk about what is the meaning and sense of uh, being inverter power is strongly oversized. Actually, the, uh, the meaning and sense behind the inverter, I mean, the warning that inverter power is slightly oversized and strongly oversized is approximately the same with each other, just there is an amount difference. But let's again delve into the details of that. What it, what was the uh, meaning of uh, inverter power is strongly oversized. It means that, it says, it means that the inverter capacity is significantly higher than the peak power output of the solar PV system. It says, if the inverter the inverter's rating, what was the inverter rating? Inverter rating was the amount of the uh, DC power that inverter can handle. I mean, the amount of the DC power that inverter can convert to an AC uh, form of the electricity. It says if the inverter's rating is much higher than the PV's array peak output, it is considered that inverter is strongly oversized. And this indicates surely a substantial mismatch between the inverter's capacity and the solar array output. To uh, understand uh, concretely, we can say that, for example, if the solar array has a peak power output of, uh, for example, let's think that we have a solar array and it has a, a peak power output of 10 kilowatt when the uh, photons of the sun can capture it uh, at most efficiently and the inverter is rated uh, the 30 kilowatt what I mean is the maximum amount of DC power that inverter can convert into AC is 30 kilowatt uh, and the inverter we can say that when we compare the amount of this power we can say that inverter is strongly oversized and there is a note that Inverters operate most efficiently, most efficiently when they are closer to their rated capacity. If an inverter works closer to its rated capacity, it works most efficiently. And it says strongly oversized inverters might operate far below their optimal efficiency rates range, and this can potentially lead to lower overall system efficiency. Uh, how we can think about that as uh, like from our uh, previous example, let's think that our solar array has a peak power output uh, of 10 kilowatt DC and the inverter capacity, the power rating of the inverter, the maximum amount of the, in, uh, the power that inverter can handle uh, the allowable, I mean, the allowable amount of the DC that inverter can accept is 30 kilowatt. And we can think uh, that, yes, the 10 kilowatt DC will be produced at peak hours uh, as a peak power output, and then uh, it will be sent to the inverter that is connected to that uh, solar array. But since the inverter has 30 kilowatt DC, I mean the acceptable, the acceptable amount that inverter can handle is 30 kilowatt AC, the, the uh, 10 kilowatt will be converted into an AC format, but we can think like that, what will be the uh, amount of the capacity, the 20 kilowatt that we don't use? Uh, is it, I mean, will it be wasted? Is it sensible for us? No. And to understand it in a simpler way, we can uh, think like uh, we are running a very busy soap restaurant and as a chef, we are in a rush. And um, even if 
there is a possibility to cook 30 liter of soap uh, just in uh, all at once. Um, we prefer to cook uh, only 10 liters of soap in a boiler that can uh, actually have a capacity to hold 30 liters of liquid. Do you think that it is a sensible uh, for a business to operate like that? Surely not. And uh, as if uh, we turn into that situation, I mean, turn into that example into our case, it is not sensible to work with uh, very different capacities. Uh, it says, surely, uh, since th uh, the inverter uh, may not be fully utilized, when we deal with the uh, oversize, uh, being oversized of the inverter and excess energy capacity can lead to surely inefficiencies or lack of return on investment. And uh, as you can understood, we uh, didn't uh play with the number of panels in one centering uh we said that uh, in our example we just play with the number of centerings uh in our systems uh in our last example i mean when we deal with the uh warning that it says inverter power is slightly oversized we decreased the number of strings from 24 to 17 but since uh to get a warning that says inverter power is strongly oversized we decreased the number of strings from 24 to 9 and uh actually this is the end of uh or sixth video i hope uh it's was clear for all of us. Uh, thank you very much for listening me, listening to me. See you uh, in the seventh video. And in the seventh video, we will explain that what is the sense of uh, string DC power output is greater than the maximum DC in, uh, input voltage of the inverter. I mean the warning. Uh, see you.